Hello everyone, welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. So in this video, ay pag-uusapan naman po natin ang mga methods, tips, tricks, and possible format for the number analogy sa mga government examinations. By the way, before anything else, huwag niyo pong kalimutang i-follow ang ating official Facebook page. So now, let's start with our review. Again, kapag sinabi po nating number analogy, numbers are given in a pair or group on one side. Pagkatapos, hahanapin po natin ang relationship of the first pair of numbers para magamit natin sa second pair of numbers. Kasi sa number analogy, kung anong relationship meron sa first pair, ay ganun din po ang relationship sa second pair of numbers. Okay, so first we have even and odd numbers based analogy. So in this type of analogy, numbers are classified with odd or even relation. Let us say for example, 76 is to 64 as 63 is to blank. So choose the letter that corresponds to your answer. Okay, so as what we have observed, yung first pair of numbers po natin are all even. So kapag parihong even, there is a possibility na dapat yung second pair of numbers ay dapat parihong add. Dapat same sila, even, even, add, add. So sa nakikita po natin sa ating mga choices, letter A is the only add number. So therefore, the correct answer is letter A. How about this one? 83 is to 92 as 13 is to blank. A41, B43, C44, or letter D45. Choose the letter that corresponds to your answer and feel free to pause the video. So dito sa number analogy, ang kailangan talaga is matinik or matang agila. Kailangan mong maging detective. So dito sa nakikita po natin sa second example natin, 83 is to 92, di ba add even? So that means may possibility na yung second pair of numbers ay ganun din po. Add even. So dito sa mga choices natin, the only even number is letter C. So therefore, the correct answer is letter C. So kumbaga po, ang relationship dito is add even, add even. Ganun yung pattern. Okay, next we have multiplication and division of numbers based analogy. So in this type of analogy, Lahat po ng numbers are connected with the relationship of multiplication or multiples of a number or maybe division of numbers. So for us to further understand, let's take an example. As what we can observe, 6 multiplied by 5 and that is equal to 30. So ibig sabihin din po nito kung ano yung inapply natin dito ay ganun din ang gagawin dito sa second pair of numbers. So that means kung nagmultiply tayo dito ng 5 ay ganun din ang gagawin natin dito. 9 times 5 and that is equal to 45. So therefore the correct answer is letter B. Next we have 19 is to 9 as 23 is to blank. So choose the letter that corresponds to your answer and feel free to pause the video. Dito po ang ginawa ay iba naman kasi ang ginawa dito is nag-operate every digit. So, 1 times 9, and that is equal to 9. So, ganun din po ang gagawin natin dito sa second pair of numbers. So, 2 times 3, and that is equal to 6. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter D. Now, please take note na hindi po basihan kapag halimbawa sabihin natin, di ba, yung 23 is greater than 19. So, not necessarily na yung nasa blank ay dapat greater than 9 kasi kumbaga ang tinitingnan nila pataas yung mga numbers. Kung tumaas yung 19 to 23, dapat yung 9 tataas din yung nasa blank. Actually, may mga ganyang instance eh, na nagwo-work at nakukuha nila yung sagot. Pero hindi po sa lahat ng pagkakataon kasi ang kailangan talaga nating gawin kapag number analogy is to find the relationship between the pair of numbers. Next, we have addition and subtraction of numbers based analogy. So, in this type of analogy, all numbers will found with the relation of some addition or added with a number or maybe subtracted with a number. Example, 156 is to 12 as 217 is to blank. 
So what do you think is the answer? So if we try to observe 1 plus 5 plus 6 and that is equal to 12. So kaya naging 12 yung pair ni 1, 5, 6. So that also means 2 plus 1 plus 7 and that is equal to 10. So therefore, the correct answer is letter B. Okay, so next example. 8 to 7 is to 13 as 518 is to blank. So feel free to pause the video. Now, in this example, there are two operations na involved sa ating analogy, which is addition and subtraction. So try to observe. 8 minus 2 and that is equal to 6. Then, plus 7, and that is equal to 13. So, that also means 5 minus 1, and that is equal to 4, plus 8, and that is equal to 12. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter B. Next, square and cube roots of numbers based analogy. So, dito sa analogy na ito, ang mga numbers are related with the exponential powers or square root, cube root, or in some of its combinations. So let's try to observe these examples. 75 is to 54 as 96 is to blank. Is it 87, 88, 89, or 90? So dito ang ginawa naman is kinuha mo na ang square ng first digit. Then, after getting the result, inad sa second digit. So, ganito po. 7 square, and that is equal to 49. Plus 5, and that is equal to 54. So, that also means 9 square, and that is equal to 81. Plus 6, and that is equal to 87. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter A. Okay, so next we have 55 is to 120. As 83 is to blank. So is it 500, 505, 509, or 515? Let's observe the numbers. Kung paano naging 120 si 55. So subukan po natin i-square mo ng first digit. So 5 square, and that is 25. So subukan din po i-subtract natin yung second digit. So 25 minus 5, and that is 20. So, paano naging 120? So, syempre, dagdagan natin ng 100. So, 20 plus 100, and that is 120. Now, if we try to apply this rule or principle or pattern dito sa second pair of numbers, kung makukuha ba natin yung result using the choices. So, 8 square, and that is 64. Minus 3, and that is 61. Then, nag-add tayo dito ng 100. So, of course, ganun din ang gagawin natin dito. So, 61 plus 100, and that is 161. Ang tanong, nasa choices ba yung 161? Wala. So, that means, hahanap tayo ng ibang paraan. So, let's try getting the cube of the first digit, then subtract natin yung second digit. So, 5 cube, and that is 125. Minus 5, and that is equal to 120. Now, let's try to apply this pattern dito sa second pair of numbers. So, 8 cube, and that is equal to 512. Minus 3, and that is equal to 509. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter C. So, ang gusto ko lang naman po na i-emphasize dito sa number analogy ay dapat kung ano talaga ang ginawa or hinanap na pattern dito sa first pair of numbers ay ganun dapat ang hahanapin din or gagamitin sa second pair of numbers. So that means kung halimbawa um, ginamit nga natin sa first pair at sa second pair of numbers yung same na pattern pero yung sagot is wala sa choices so ang gagawin nyo po is hahanap pa kayo ng ibang pattern, paraan or relationship para makuha nyo na yung tamang sagot from the given choices. Kasi po, kapag mga government examinations, ang sagot ay nasa choices talaga yan. Impossible kung wala dyan yung sagot. And that considered an error. Dinoble check na po yan, tinreple check na po yan nila yung mga test booklet bago i-release. 
na talagang ma-insure nila na wala pong error at ang sagot ay nasa choices talaga. So ang kailangan na lang natin gawin is halungkatin natin yung mga number analogy relationship para makuha natin yung sagot from the given choices. And that concludes our video. And I hope na nakatulong po ito sa inyo para ma-master nyo na kung paano magsagot ng mga number analogy problems. So kung hindi nyo pa po napanood yung ating uh, sample questions uh, with regard to number analogy, pwede nyo pong i-check yung ating description box below for the link of the video. And kung bago ka pa lang po sa ating channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. At huwag na rin pong kalimutang i-follow ang ating official Facebook page. And hope to see you next time. Bye for now.